would love to go into a little bit of a sideways note about the history of Kodak film, Shirley cards, and darker skin tone folks. A little bit of chocolate and furniture factories to throw in the mix. So, back in the 1950s, Kodak started um, using Shirley cards to help people color correct their film. The issue with the Shirley cards though, all white women. So if you had a group picture that was mixed or if you had people who were darker skin tones, you would get over or underexposed film. It wasn't until the 1960s and 1970s when the Kodak company got complaints from chocolate and furniture companies saying they couldn't see the variations in their products enough in the film that Kodak finally started to incorporate diversity into their Shirley cards. And if you fast forward to today, researchers like Joy Wolomwini over at uh, MIT Media Lab has done a lot of work talking about the issues that uh, people with darker skin tones have with facial recognition software, either miscategorizing them or misidentifying them altogether, which is a double-edged sword. Because if you're being miscategorized, you could potentially be um, criminalized depending on the system that's being used um, or being miscategorized at all is just demoralizing and dehumanizing. Uh, but then if you're correctly uh, recognized in facial software as a darker skinned person, that's also a problem too. In fact, we'll get into that a little bit later in today's conversation. <laughs> 